was good was happening yo yo i'm on you boy pause the smiling man horror animation spooky scary stories number two all right ah if you know me you know i don't like scary all right but we here let's cook up no longer staring at the sky he is now staring bullets into my soul but he's not just staring he's fully sprinting in my direction <laughs> put on my feet and beeline it to my place i get off on the side road and the dancing man series inspired by cory kenshin okay bad 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 yeah for the ones that be saying oh he's copying cory kenshin so what's up so my roommate and I live downtown in a big city. My sleep schedule sucks and his doesn't. So I often find myself bored while my roommate sleeps during the same hours as a life alert customer. So to pass time, I'll go for long <laughs> night walks and just spend the time thinking and chilling. And on one of these nights, eh, mornings, it was somewhere around 1 to 2 a.m. I was walking near a police patrol park quite a ways away from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a week night. Very little traffic and almost no- Wait, 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 wait. Run it back, run it back. Run it back, Turbo. Customers. So to pass time, I would go for long night walks and just spend the time thinking and chilling. And on one of these nights, eh, mornings, it was somewhere around 1 to 2 a.m. I was 1 or 2 a.m. and you're walking outside, bro. I mean, granted, you a big dude and shit. If I see you on the street, I wouldn't fuck with you, gang. I ain't gonna lie. But there's some crazy motherfuckers out there, bro. You ballsy being outside 1, 2 in the morning. If it's not you at the club or leaving the club. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, cuz. Boy, I got balls. I was walking near a police patrol park quite a ways away from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a week night. Very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park crazy. was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to look back at my apartment, and that was when I first noticed him. At the far end of my street, on my oh side, God. was the silhouette of a man dancing and it was a strange dance kind of similar to a waltz but he finished each box with the odd forward stride you could say he was dance walking i guess and he was doing this in my direction deciding he was probably drunk or off or something i decided to step as close <laughs> as i could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me but i'm not gonna lie as nah. creepy as it was bro had moves i can't even lie he was very tall <laughs> nah, nah, lanky, nah, nah. but at the same time well, I'm gone. like the success rate of him scaring the hell out of me and getting my number were relatively the same he was a 10 out of 10 but as we got closer, I was able to observe more. Like his suit was tattered and messed up, covered Bro, in mud and what I would like to think was sweat because he freaked a body odor. It was almost as if he'd been wearing the suit for weeks. We took even more steps to each other and I was able to make out his face. His eyes were open wide and his oh. head was tilted back slightly oh. to the sky, but his mouth <laughs> was formed into a beautifully wide cartoon of a smile. I'm no longer messing with the situation. Between the creepy eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. Should have crossed beforehand, gang. Man. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street and as I reached the other side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks because <laughs> he had stopped dancing and was just standing with one foot in the street perfectly parallel to me. His head still looking at the cloudy night sky. Shit, his ugly. weird smile still <clears throat> wide on his lips. Not liking this even more, I started walking away, but this time I kept my eyes on the man. He didn't move. And once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. Still on edge, I looked back to where he was standing to find him gone. <sighs> I let out a sigh of relief, but that emotion was short-lived because it was instantly replaced with the feeling of being watched. I bear it as I continue my now speed walk home. I get a couple of blocks away from my crib and I get to this intersection with the stop sign. I look left, I look right, clear. I go to walk. Oh my <sighs> Fuck you, bro. Oh my god. Is this what we doing, dog? Is this, is this what we doing? I cannot. I cannot, bro. I cannot. And I see him across the street in an alleyway crouched down next to a trash can. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I didn't need to see his face to know. He was staring directly at me. I could feel it. 
in pure Mark. shock, I just stand there staring at him. And just as I did that, he got up and started moving towards me again. But he wasn't dancing anymore. He took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps almost as if he was a cartoon character. Except he was moving very, very quickly. And I'm just standing there completely <laughs> frozen as the smiling man crept towards me and then stopped again about a car length away from me, still smiling and still facing the sky. Finally, I gained control of my body again and I dart directly across the street. I look back and he's just standing there still fixated looking in the direction that I was standing. I'm now walking backwards looking at him and as I make more and more distance, <laughs> how he got closer in the two seconds it took me to fall but he's now standing there and for the first time i can see his full face because he's no longer staring at the sky he is now staring bullets into my soul but he's not just staring he's fully sprinting in my direction i scramble to my feet and beeline it to my place i get off on the side road and slow fire can Past the test of time, now I'm used to stacking paper like I'm making packets. My bitch bad, your bitch good at really looking fucking average. Stop playing. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> Yo, you fucking got it with that shit, bro. Where is it? I look right, clear. I go to walk. <laughs> And I see him across the street in an alleyway crouched down next to a trash can. I couldn't tell Yo. for sure due to the distance in the shadows. I fucking hate this man, bro. Ugh. Oh my God. This is a Tory that I... Tory. Oh my God. Free Tory. <laughs> this is a story that I found on TikTok. I altered it, but animating it here is the link to the original. Also, this series is probably Corey Kenji. Yes, sir. Just want to give credit words to I hope you guys enjoy. P.S. I'm also hearing this story was animated by Llama Arch too. I didn't know that. My bad, I'm gonna link his video too. For the people who couldn't read the text on the screen, this isn't one of his nightmares. It's a story he found on TikTok with slight alternations. Damn, that jump scare at 249, 346 scared the hell out of me. That's what we doing right now, bro. Fucking jump scare. I cannot deal with that shit, man. I literally cannot deal with that shit, bro. Yo, yo, you got me fucked up, gang, okay? It's all love, but you got me fucked up, bro, with this shit. Listen, bro. The smiling man. <clears throat> Imagine getting chased at night, bro. By just a random fucking person. Not, they don't even gotta look like this or be on some creepy shit. Just a random person chasing you, bro. Fuck out of here. One, two in the morning. That, that's, where, that's where they fucked up. Going outside one, two in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, man. Listen, let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.